I mean, this is so much pressure on him. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of a spicy hand, honestly. Um, not sure I want to ask Thor, though. I could have potentially kept the Chain Guardian, but I really wanted to get the Hellier, and we actually did hit Hellier. Which is very nice. Very, very nice. The reason I kept these, like, early game cards is because if it is, um... Mech Rogue. I want to have the potential to kill his shit off. But most people aren't playing Mech Rogue right now, so... so I wasn't terribly concerned about it, honestly, but... You know, you always got to have the potential to deal with a Mech Rogue. Because, you know, there are a few stray uh, Mech Rogues here and there. Not that I've personally really experienced any... As of late, it's just the secret nonsense. All right, I think we're popping off now. Okay, you got a spooter, but this also means that he can't get um, his grave digger down this turn, which is nice. Unless he has prep and bone spike into it with a secret, you know. There's a lot of ifs there. Dunk. Oh shit. You blow my cover. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? Whoopsies. I probably shouldn't have um, played into that so hard. I could have avoided that. Ah, uh, we do like this, though. It's probably the best one, right? Wait, what did he... What did he send back? Oh, wait. Huh? Wait, what did he do this on? Did he play a second one? Interesting. Yeah, where's your grave digger there? That's spooky. That's honestly quite annoying as well. Um, damn, with the ship is nice, but Isn't this just better to have on board? Probably, right? Oh shit, wait, what is it then? Okay. Okay, dude. Sure. Uh-huh. Think you probably wanted objection there. And now he can't even grave digger me. He literally cannot even grave digger me because he doesn't have a secret up. That's his last secret. What would his last secret be? Honestly, not too entirely sure. Oh, dude. I could have saved this for my dude, but this is so much tempo. It's kind of ridiculous, right? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I have that. You can draw cards. Draw, draw all the cards you want. Draw all the plagues, man. Oh, really? You didn't draw two? Unlucky. Dude, how does he... How does he deal with this? Like, Yogg doesn't even clear this. <laughs> uh ha ha I think we finally beat a secret rogue. Also, I don't even know if he has any secrets left. I'm sure he plays another perjury, right? But he must have it in his hand. Because he only got one secret from the dude. I think he comboed that minion as well. So, yeah, he did have it in his hand. That's perjury. Unless he has two secrets in his hand, he's got a sticky situation as well. 
You'd need to s somehow play another one. Yeah, unlucky dude. This was so much tempo. Like, this deck just blows people out of the water sometimes. It's crazy. Hey, you. Yes, you. I see that you haven't subscribed. So subscribe. Subscribe right now. It's free. Okay, back to the video. Like, it's impossible for me to lose now. Just because I drew Helia. I'm also going to keep these because I'm a bit dumb. And I'm being super greedy with this. Unreal, dude. It's actually unreal. It's so free. It's so free if you draw Helia. Because, like, it's not even guaranteed that they run Steam, Steam Cleaner. And if they, if they don't find Steam Cleaner early enough, you do enough damage to slow them down and then you just overwhelm them anyway. Alright. This is a very good starting hand. I mean, this is probably a greedy keep. But, I mean, we just jam hell yeah and we should win the game. Really? He's already just reducing his hand. It's a very interesting tactic. Uh, I think I would just want to get plagues in his deck. It's a very weird play by me, but like, I want to get them in as soon as possible just to get this chain guardian down. Cause I'm jamming Helia anyway next turn, and maybe even Zolaring my Helia just to get more plagues in his deck. Oh my god, Celestial Projectionist is huge. <laughs> Do I just use all of this? It's not the best of Zola's, but... Don't really have much else in the way to play right now. So I think I'm gonna do it. I am floating mana for two turns if I play this next turn, but... I think it's fine. Like, come on, it's double Zola. I know this doesn't stack effects. It would be so sick if it shuffled two in. Each turn. Each time it drew a play. Oh, actually, does it? I actually have never played double Helia, so I don't know. I don't think it works, but that'd be fantastic because I know that Odin works that way. You get every time you stack armor, you get double that attack if you play two of them. So it'd be sick if they did that with the plagues as well, but maybe that'd be too broken. Considering you can shuffle so many plagues in. I'm so greedy. I'm just going to shuffle more in, right? Hey. I mean, I can't help myself. It might not be the best play, but it seems pretty good. <laughs> you can projectionist as well. Shit. The weapon might screw me. Do I just lose the weapon? Very likely that I could lose that. Ah, oh, dude. He has so many cards in his day. And he drew one of the only ways that he can win this. <laughs> I mean, feel free to draw more plagues, please. Only two. Ah.
My certainty is gone. Death cannot be found. Yeah, I want to shuffle more in his deck, but I feel like that's probably wrong. No but it's the fun play, so we do it. Yes. More. <laughs> this is surely not how you're supposed to play this. But by golly, is it the fun one? Okay, so surely he gives me some uh, corpses so that I can actually draw cards. Like, he has to kill something, right? He can't possibly leave a board like this up. He's crazy if he leaves this up. Oh, did I lose? Oh, bro, there's no way I just lost this game. Oh, dude, there's no way I'm dead. I thought I was just dead here. Just draw plagues, man. Eight health in a dream? It's fine. Not even not even sweating, man. <laughs> not even sweating. It's fine. Everything's fine. Can I kill this? Uh, this is probably by far the best one here, right? Uh, let's just get more plagues in his deck. Oh my god, dude. Absolutely brutal to the, the opponent there. <laughs> that healing was disgusting as well. Like, oh. Oh my goodness, but we got Hellier again? Yo, we're in for a treat to this time. Uh, do I ever keep projectionist? Probably not. So, it's so ambitious to keep that. I mean, if I had something to go with the projectionist that I could play on the same turn, you know, maybe I would keep it, but... I don't, so this seems fine. Maybe we've got something spicy that we can play for next turn. Because right now it looks like a hero power angle. And hero power angle ain't the best angle. You generally want to be playing your cards. Really? That's kind of spooky, bro. Guess it's the hero power angle. We are going to coin Hellier out next turn, so then we're in business, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I'm assuming he's playing the non-treant deck, you know, the Miracle Druid, but I have played against one Treant Druid so far, so wouldn't surprise me if he was playing it. We did kind of get lucky and demolish that previous Treant player, though. It's kind of a spicy game. We kept the Celestial Projectionist and then, um... Copied up our chain guardian and cleared his 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 taunts, which is very nice. Very spicy plays. Uh, these are quite interesting, but it's always hell yeah. Oh hell yeah! Uh, I probably should have saved my swing here because I'm most likely playing my school teacher this coming turn, and therefore I won't have the mana to spend on the. For stuff the primus so if he plays something that i want to hit uh i can't hit it now unless i for go this <laughs> but we'll be fine yeah it's fine do i just ignore it and go face i'm quite tempted to just go face Oh, this would be insane if I had uh, my Kvaldi here, oh, but I also don't have the mana, so it wouldn't be that insane. Anybody? Uh, 
uh, we could go for the damage phase. I kind of like the freeze though, because I'm assuming he's playing the Ignis weapon sort of version of the deck. So freezing his face is very nice. Fuck, he's got Steam Cleaner already. I mean, it's probably better that he plays it earlier than later. But I mean, he has to play it before he can fizzle, so... That is a downside for him as well, though. Like, he's, he's really got to think about when he's going to play his fizzle. Because if he Steam Cleaners his uh, snapshot, that's not very ideal for him. It's pretty funny for me, though. That'd be too much draw. I have so much draw. Shit. Why does it cost so much? I mean, I feel like he's playing the Steam. Like he's gonna play this this turn, right? Or maybe he won't play it this turn. Oh, I was worth shuffling that in. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful to the point that I'm almost crying. It's. <laughs> it's. It's so beautiful. <laughs> anyway. Steam cleaner. But you know, buddy, I have I have more. Wait, I mean, now you can't play Steam Cleaner. Can he even play that this coming turn? I'm not sure he can play it. Also I dislike this person because they killed my weapon, which is one of the good ways of putting plagues in his deck. <laughs> Kolak. Alrighty. This cannot be done. We've created a temporal anomaly. I mean, this is so much pressure on him. Ah, <laughs> uh, and he can't innovate his weapon or innovate his ENR. I think he's fucked. Ah, uh, he could yog. What? How much does yog cost? One, two, three, four. Five, six. Oh my god, Yog costs so much still. I think it's over for this fellow. Yog costs like nine here? Unless I'm tripping? Like, that's insane. And it doesn't even full clear, does it? <laughs> He's so screwed. And he can't steam clean it either? Like, dude. Did we just boss move this dude? Fuck, that could help him out of this situation, maybe. But if he plays it, we know what he's what it is. He could go for the the solar eclipse into uh, frost blossom. I can see. Nice. We checkmated him because he put so much tempo on the board that even if he cleared the plagues in his deck, he'd be fucked if he didn't clear my board.